right year one so continue with this challenge let's start with translating the pseudo code in C sharp so we have a string that we call option then we have integer for number one integer for number two and integer for result then we want to print to the user what he wants what we want him to write right so in this case we need to write a big big test so let's start here let's start with this one and let's copy paste so we want four options one two three four and here we put to continue to this type one of the options one addition two subtraction three multiplication then we go four division so we have the options the user would write something and now we need to get the data so we put option variable and it would receive from console read line remember read line to read the console read write line to write in the console now we have the options so we can do two ways two ways we can do if or we can do switch so if let's do if and i will do switch also option equal one and this is remember this is string so we need to put it as a string got option we declare as a string and we are reading the console line as a string then we need l if option equal to and this is space here so now we have option one two we need three four four and we need the last one for any other value the user type and here we're gonna change to three and we're gonna change to four so if the user types something wrong we will tell them you select the option selected does not exist so here we have now the first one is an addition so we need to resolve equal to num1 plus num2 now let's copy this This is division, this is multiplication, this is subtraction, okay, now we need the values, right? We need to ask the user the values write a number and this 
this one will be number one and we're gonna read the console line but remember this one give us a stream so we need to convert it to integer and let's copy this for number two right now we have the value now we do the operation and here at the end we write the result the result of the operation that you have selected is We concatenate result. What is the error here? Use of an assigned local variable result. Let's convert it to string. Still, we get error. I don't know why. Okay, let's do this. Let's give a value to it, all of them so zero 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 in that way our variable we have a, a number before and we don't need to worry about some errors okay but here we can say return or yeah return and send some error okay but integer this class program boy main is in result and let's return and let's try to do something let's test it so let's choose option two right 23 3 they will be 20 the result and i forgot here let's put console read line to stop the console for closing okay so let's type now again option 2 12 the result is 10 perfect now let's type a different option let's say five so something went wrong so i found something interesting we should ask the number maybe inside is or the if just to evaluate if the function is there but this is also good because we don't want to repeat too many things inside the code and to make it more readable so now let's use switch and if we go to switch we need to put here inside the variable that is option we open and close and then we put the first case in case is one then column then we take this we put here and then we break remember the break is very important to have break okay let's copy this so now we will do this and you will see how this works so option two three four and now we want default so we write here default for any other option that is not evaluated and we take this one here and we put it here and you can see it's almost the same but this more when something is more methodic or something is more specific you can just switch so we will do the same operation twice and here i will put we are using switch
so we can see in the common plan so let's do now 4 10 divided by 2 ok so something is wrong the result of the operation you have is 12 and I choose 4 so something is wrong here right let's check what is wrong when we choose option 4 we are doing a plus here so here I have to change this here and here and let's copy this twice so we can see both results resolve with switch and resolve with if okay now let's play do again 4 12 divided by 2 operation with if 6 6 so yeah that's how we did this you can see there are two ways of doing it so let's practice you can try by yourself or you can follow this video and type and learn or you can do more stuff if you want i invite you to try some stuff so see you